Doctor, what you no, but it's very bad, Odike. It is very, very bad. Ah. It's a shame. Now, I'm person me che. I am telling when you for me so I die mu. If I me person me book party wa hai yeah. I have something I be chan who say. Ah, bo 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 bo. Let me catch you. Say say. Anya se obi mi ankasa ankasa ankasa. Anda kwa me tu mina kwa kwa se juma. Kwa kwa kwa. When you for di wa di mu. Catch me body wa. I have something I be book. It's very, very bad. Okay, dear now there are total forest areas. I have 26, 28 million hectares. 1995, now there are forest, forest land area. Now there are 28 million hectares. And now there are 4 million hectares. Ghana, I'm a blue. Motua, I'm a bad way down in Ghana desert. Ghana, my boo, and to Motua, I'm a bad way down in Ghana desert. Messi, 1995, not Ghana, yeah, 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 forest area. I have 28 million hectares. And I have 4 million hectares. Well, you're a bad way, I'm 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 a bad way, i this is in the same car, a coaching in your open ye. Yeah, my dear, to go beginning me class. I will be as you say, a bay and Kayamo be and stay off site for some time. Yamo be and stay off. Yamo be and stay off a ever boy. But this is a situation where by minerals commission is so a new licenses. Ah, what they say? And what what you know, free channel about the local father man, a quiet, a copper channel for whom I am machines. Ah, machines, you know, almost she excavators. No man, I'm quite a new machine. Now, for sight, now 
Obi anu ya ambassador. Where ambassador of China? Ah, what 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 China for no do moba? Obi do fear the tongue when minerals commission CEO. Seven ya. I do not care in China no. I fear the Nipper ba. No ma. I I be. I be weary. Doctor Cash. Win him. I will have some woman say. I will have a Ghana and say. You see, the irresponsibility of all these political leaders for decades. It goes without mincing words, say. Oh, why you want to be me a brown son for? No, I bet you're not going to use much. Yes. Then we have to call them by their proper name, too. You know, and this is this is where sometimes we have to as a share to, to be very responsible and pick our words carefully but say it the way we need to say it without being explicitly abusive now moya bro ghana politicians moya bro ghana moya from open for moya bro people who hold leadership responsibilities in ghana moya bro Moya bro, you need to speak up. If you're not part of the problem, you let you better speak up. You have to speak up. You are depleting all forest reserves in Ghana in such an alarming rate. And youth, Mammont now and Yerehayo, it is your future that these old people are destroying and they will get away with it. And most of them, they are educating their children abroad. Let me tell you true. I'm educating my children abroad because I live here. In fact, I have to actually beg my children if they want to come to Ghana and live there. They have an option not to want to do to, to ever come to Ghana. But me there, me it, it, it coming from my own. I am attached to Ghana, irrespective of the way it is. My children probably they've got the option. They 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 are they are curious about Ghana because I come from Ghana and I'm very passionate about Ghana. And I want to set up something there that will attract them to come to Ghana. Because I strongly believe in Ghana. Now the Agrika Kono, the youth who live in Ghana. Stop doing this foolishness NDC MPP politics. I see a lot of young people that were doing four more for Nana. They were doing N NDC campaign when Nana Mahama was there to us, to us. Meanwhile, they don't have a job. They don't have any future. Their future looks so bleak. But they are on social media. They will buy their small credit, five Ghana cities, ten Ghana cities. And they are doing stupid MPP NDC politics on social media. With their profit, their credit to be doing nonsense on social media on MPP and NDC politics. Muhammad Tuasu, for more for Nana. Meanwhile, you don't have a job. Are you not stupid? As a young person with a bleak future, think, start thinking, and stop this MPP and NDC foolishness politics. These politicians, they don't care. They re they've shown consistency. I'm not saying it. The, the thing is there. Muchin Gion all the time. NDC, you swap it. You flip it. Whatever you do, they come. They do the same thing. They do the same SHIT. They don't give a fuck about your future. I'm telling you. They say it, but their actions speak louder than their words. Because if they think about your future, they will make sure that they create jobs for you young guys no foreign investor will come and create one big one million jobs in ghana will come and create millions of jobs in ghana your unemployment of youth is escalating exponentially every year no foreign investor can do that for ghana the only entity that can do that for Ghanaians and young Ghanaians is corporate Ghana. This is what these politicians need to envision, look into the future. How can we create an enabling environment for people who want to create small businesses?
so that we can create a huge industrialized economy like a petrochemical industry like agro huge agro industry like a huge bauxite aluminium industry revitalize state housing corporation state owned building houses affordable housing affordable housing for young people and these huge industries look at housing look at food processing look at petrochemical industry look at bauxite aluminium industry these huge industries these huge industries that we have what it takes to set up we will allow young people along the value chain to create small businesses that will feed into these industries so that the profit and the wealth creation will be will be all over the place spreading across the country at every every level if a young person is enterprising and has got entrepreneurial spirit we have an institution that will help them to create a business that will feed into these industries so that we can create future capitalists we can put young people on their toes to start running this is what the chinese has done the chinese government has a vision to create 250,000 chinese made millionaires every year young chinese people young entrepreneuring chinese people you know when you get all these chinese companies state-owned enterprises like uh, uh sino hydro coming to ghana to do road construction brick constructions and dam construction come on you are employing a state-owned enterprise the chinese has created a globe global enterprises are these companies construction and engineering companies they go out there in the globe and get contracts and do business for the chinese government but we have politicians without due respect tibon kosu they say say they don't promote government enterprises in fact they are against government enterprise in fact they are for private enterprise think use your brains you haven't gotten to the stage there whereby you can create local capitalists to create private enterprises the private sector they don't have bloody money so you need to create state enterprises to allow ghana local private businesses to feed into the state enterprises to create wealth for young Ghanaians. listen listen won't you the ghana pin for politicians learn how we, you create local capital you create Ghanaians are almost sika they will create the private sector for the Ghanaian people private sector they don't conjure it from heaven to bloody come down and start building private enterprises in ghana when they don't have money people have got ideas but they need their government to help them that is what the chinese government does that is what the american government does that is what the uk government does that is what the german government does that is what the Italian Italian government does. That is what all developed countries, the, the Japanese government, all of them, the South Korean government, the Singapore government, the Malaysian government, that is what they do. They create local capitalists of their indigenous citizens, of their people, to form the majority of the private sector, not to open doors for foreign in private entities to come in and make wars on the land and then capital flight they take the money out and you calculate that stupid thing called gdp you add it to it meanwhile the money that is part of the gdp you know, is all gone outside land are you thinking are you thinking i mean these are things that if you want to do you don't need to be 
an economist to understand how things work in the global village. Government aided help, government help its citizens to create the private sector. You have you you you, you have um um you are given interest rate for businesses at 20 percent hmm? 20 percent plus and this was also created 30 percent how can you create a private sector that is thriving when the the availability of loans crown or funds they are not there and if they are there they are so expensive they are not competitive how can someone borrow at 20 percent and set up a business and compete at the global level and help the country to increase its export earnings. How? Our local entrepreneurs, our private sector is not competitive. Our production capacity is not competitive because our we, we charge so much interest rate for businesses to borrow and expand. And young people, these are the real issues. And then I think you need to, you young people need to learn and understand how things bloody work. You need reorientation and education about how these things work so that you can put these arguments to the politicians and expose them. When they come out and give you all the jargons, you need to brush it aside. Tell them to face the reality. We cannot be competitive when you peg interest rate at 20% plus. When the young, your, your counterparts in the UK, in Europe, in America, in China, in Japan, in the Asian Tigers, in all these places, your competitors, your peers who want to open businesses, they get these loans at 3%, 2%, some of below one percent at some point in america for a long time is even zero percent you get a loan at zero percent no interest on it they are getting this loan at very low rate and you in ghana you want to open a business they tell you 20 percent plus how can you compete with them so your expenditure is too high. Your cost of borrowing is too high. How can you compete with them? These are the real issues. These are the fundamental issues that is putting impediments in the way for the create that private sector that you're talking about that we, we believe in the private sector. We don't believe in state-owned enterprise. Think. Think. San Hydro is a state-owned enterprise. You employ another state's own enterprise to come and do a job for you. And you sit down there, Tibon Koso, you say you don't believe in state-owned enterprises. Are you for real? Are you thinking? Are you thinking as a political leader? You box yourself in some stupid ideological nonsense that does not make sense in the real world for a developing country at all. All these industrialized countries that are promoting the private sector and the, uh, the friends saying, uh, uh, private sector, uh, the engine of growth and private sector-led economy and that nonsense and the free market gibberish, rubbish, they started by creating state-owned enterprises. The UK industrialization, the European industrialization, the American industrialization, the Japanese industrialization, all of them, the Chinese, the Chinese, they are still there. They, they, they are not even relinquishing it, which has it. They all grew their industries from the state point of view, state-owned enterprises, big state enterprises that created wealth for the citizens to feed into, to create local capitalists. Then gradually, government allowed the private sector owned by the people, the indigenous people, to control it. And even when they privatize industries, they keep the golden share government has got control so that the private sector cannot abuse that privilege of running the show because it's at cruise control and government sits back and makes sure say 
the citizens are not screwed too much because private sector, the private business now want to maximize their profit. So if you leave them without regulations, without making sure that you check them, they will abuse the system and they will impoverish the citizens. That's human nature. You cannot allow the private sector to do whatever they like without regulation. So what we're doing in Ghana is completely wrong. If the state has borrowed so much, what have you gone to show for it? You need to, you should have invested a lot of this money in renewable sectors, in industries that are renewable. Like for instance, the energy sector, you know, renewable energy, solar, wind. These are areas that the, the state can create a lot of money there and create value chain of wealth creation along the line for small businesses to feed into. Look at the, 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 the wastage of, 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 of plastic with the waste management industry. Plastics choking our drainage system. Choking. But that industry is worth 20 Oh, we say 20. 300, 300 billion dollars, that industry. And it's growing exponentially. By 2024, it will grow to 530 billion, 2024, 2025. 530 billion dollars. This is an industry that we have a lot of waste in Ghana that needs to be managed. The only enterprise that can set up such a huge industry in Ghana is corporate Ghana, led by government. In fact, you have a long way to go. Let me allow this video clip to run and then you see where we are. That's why young people are complaining. Look at how Galam says is destroying everything. We are destroying our forest reserve whereby we don't, we don't need to even allow Galamsey to go on another day. I have said it that abolish surface mining completely. UK, often say any gold, wow, we have gold here. China, they've got gold, they've got more gold on the gr underground, on the ground, gold reserves, gold reserves, sorry, gold deposits in China. Gold deposits in China is more than what is in Ghana. China has got more gold than Ghana. Mountain Ye, China. The gold deposits in China is more than what is in Ghana. America has got more gold deposits than Ghana. You can ample your gold. We don't even mine. All these countries, they don't do surface mining. Underground mining is what they do. Surface mining is for just for prospecting for hobby people for for panning, what they call panning, people that you don't have to, you, you don't have to use even big tools to do surface mining. But look at what is happening in Ghana. We need to abolish surface mining in Ghana, period. Create other industries that are there for the taking, virgin industries that can create a lot more wealth than mining, than Galam said, than surface mining. Abolish surface mining. Every mining company that wants to come and mine in Ghana must go underground. You will need to take some radical measures to save our forest depletion. Our forest reserves are depleting at an alarming rate. Look at the statistics that the guy gave. I hope, I hope, I, I, I believe, say, it is accurate. And if it is, it's alarming and it is, it is dangerous. We are depleting our forest at an alarming rate from 28 million hectares to 4 million hectares from 1995 to now in the next 10 years at the rate is going there will be no forest reserves left the 4 million that is left will be gone completely that's your future Ghana will become a desert your war a fertile land in Pona, we are struggling, not desert. We are not like Dubai, you know. So, young people must start speaking up. 
one can say three one in Uti Boni. And we have a lot of political leaders that must bow their heads down in shape. All of you, with no exception, we now we Uti Boni so you disappointed the people. You have not been thinking on your feet, and you have not screwed your necks, your heads on your neck properly, to start doing the right things for the people, the the next generation, the future. Fix your attitude. People who want to go into political leadership must have a vision, passion, commitment, the zeal, the patriotism. You have to envision the future, the way you want to see Ghana. What is the vision you took into politics? That's what you need to ask yourself. And people who are leading Ghana are here for, and all people who had various leadership positions in the public sector, speak up. Speak up. Things are not going on well. Speak up. We can't go on like this and pretend everything is okay. Everything is not okay. We are destroying the future of the next generation. And most of these people are creating wealth for their friends, families, and close associates so that they are educating their children outside Ghana and building their future, alternative future outside Ghana. And they are destroying the country. If a politician is not well and they travel outside for medical care, you must get worried. They are in charge of fixing the healthcare system in Ghana. In John Tukwen Kwa Manoni, John Wayarisa, and now the uncle here on Then what 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 is what is the state of the Ghana healthcare system? It's not good enough for them to 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 put their life on the line of our health the, the, uh, the delivery system. They don't believe in the healthcare delivery system of Ghana, so they resort to outside healthcare system for even checkup. Check up. Come on. These people, you think they think about you? How many years have they been around? 28 years plus. If you swap MPP and NDC, they keep doing the same shit. Excuse my friend. This I, I'll speak it out. I'll spell it out. They keep doing the same SHIT. Speak up get angry but be respectful show anger in your show respect in your anger but be angry one kasau three one you be you with tiboni you be you with all the time this is what is happening oh so the most weakest youth on this planet, a uh, Ghana you. They are not going to do anything. No, they are propaganda. But you know, a fair pair of mobile bags. Now, my mother does that. No, I'm not going to use my machines. No, I'm breaking my phone. So I am not going to be. No, I'm not going to for mobile bags. And you see, Edward Watson, I know he is ambassador of China. We are going to make money China. I don't mind the machines. I am not saying I am free. I am not going to be a mobile bag. If you machine from Shetty, you know, and you are Ghana, you didn't do. Sir, on the body platform, I have seen how quite they are. On the control machine, who's sorry, Bim? For that, who's a cockroach? No, on the support to car, if you're nine, you're more sane. No, now you say what? Who's who? Maybe I'm doing so now. Maybe I'm so so. And yes, we'll be seeing me and me. I know my camera and I'm there. I say you might have it. Look at it. Now we say so. Then you be too. No, you're cool. What's the standard for now? The cap of Tosha said, No, 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 we need we need them for their intervention because politicians are failure. And this is complete failure. This is complete failure. Just see me here, me here incitement, Biano. Maya, Maya, excellent. We had the incitement. Baba, Mr. 
on this on this aspect i don't i don't agree with the speaker i have to make my point to it so i'm gonna publish this on my own page and on on, on my own um friend saying they publish here and I'm speaking with her. I don't agree with you. You don't have any evidence say excavators now all shinon, which I agree with because yeah J five thousand friends and five hundred plus excavators in the At the end of the day, there has to be some radical approach to keep this foolishness. And I think the president has got he wants to deal with this issue. I don't agree with the way he's dealing with, with the issue because if you are not punishing people who are involved in Galamsea, burning of the excavators, no, it's not dealing with the root of the problem. The excavators, not just the symptoms. You are just dealing with the branches of the issues when the root of the problem is there, very much active. The people behind the excavators, no, the people who are behind the hiring or ownership of the excavators to do this galamseno you need to trace them and prosecute them for doing damage to the rivers and the forest reserves to the land that is how you root out the kanka and say, oh, no 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 i don't know but as part of the measures you know if i were the president the, the destruction of the instruments they are using to cause the damage through Galamseno, I will destroy them. I will destroy them. Kenya government sees billions of dollars of ivory. They bent all of them for people to see. Now, basically, they say we don't want to even look at this like some wealth to make money out of it. So sometimes these actions are necessary. To send the right signal out there you go to thailand or somewhere people who were involved with illegal acquisition of wealth and the purchasing of high-powered vehicles hundreds of them were seized and crushed all of them the vehicles expensive vehicles running into hundreds of millions of dollars they crushed all of them crushed them the ferraris the the Rolls royce the all the expensive vehicles that were bought with illegal wealth they were all destroyed so sometimes these actions are necessary to send the right signal out there not everybody agrees with it but that is that is that is your business that is your prerogative and you also agree you'll be agreeing these things you now they are not exact signs what i say actions to curb foolishness is not an exact science Boxing is not an exact science. Fighting is not an exact science. You have you can get you, you you have to get you, you have to have some techniques to win every battle and win the war. You try and win every battle so that you can win the war. But sometimes your some of the battles you may lose, but you still your focus is to win the war. So the burning of the excavators, the destruction of the excavators is one of the things I would have deployed. But apart from that, you know, the other measures I'll make more, your friends saying, will we'll implement them as well so that the whole uh, approach becomes very effective. You, you don't have any evidence, speculation is too much. I don't entertain such speculations that 
akofa you or ye we no 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 masa taso if you have something personally against the president that is your own problem if you are building a nation for no credit any authenticity of what you're saying be your cardinal principles i don't agree with a lot of the ways that the president has dealt with corruption and the way he performed the last four years i give him a failure unfortunately his main rival mama no is oye oye kun oye oye even equal or worse he he hasn't got anything to offer ghana so mama tini and this is in our young to our way the amasa the baby fat man fat what i say because the alternative was worse or equally bad Unfortunately, we need something different from MPP and NDC because they haven't decided to change their ways. They need to fix their attitude. People in political leadership, mainly MPP and NDC, need to change their attitude in leadership. If you want to go to the root of the problem, be fair and be frank and be authentic. Make sure, say, what they no create a your political commentary. So that it can resonate with like-minded people who think about Ghana first, not any underlining and undertone, undertone of political expediency. Okay, so I don't exaggerate. You have any evidence? Say, or cover me. The fact say uh, the, the 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 now uh, chief of Forest Commission, no, yeah, uh, former ambassador to China, doesn't mean say or the never share off for any any or a uh, friend saying uh diabolic agenda yeah you're trying to speculate you know linear but don't do that don't do that anyway let me let me let me just um finish with what this guy was saying and the first one i find the first one i have by court and the baby tell me that i am fighting for the net executive arm of government and your president and it's a my discussion for again a season in any case dr cash i am here to believe any dr makubani the cronies are motor by gb our way the amosi i know you assume kusa kusa you can say you are mom for him i got a lot of my mom yeah the pipe for about fee it's making me make me kase a can among Cassia, some no muddy galam see or mine politics in a yam. Mamma, you ain't you ever. Yea, we see Nipano. Kitchen, I'm one. A castleman, a muddy Jimmy Samsa. A cangalam see as a mamma me anchor. Her pipe for a bow fee. It's making me make me cassie. A can among Cassia, some no muddy galam see or mine politics in a yam. Mamma, you ain't you ever. Yea, we see Nipano. Kitchen, I'm one. A castleman, a muddy Jimmy Samsa. Or top of the emperor. Right. So, um, this is what it is. And look, Ghana politicians, I'm appealing to your conscience. True, stop this like a basic attitude. Munjai, uh, the like a basic cry, can't You're sleeping on the job. More than we do, man. So. You, you, your attitude must be fixed. Screw your head on your neck properly and think on your feet. Namu fix it on mine. Yet your mind is your musa. Moshe na on mine boa. Asudin ebe bamusu. No one is here to insult anyone. But Obanyansa for your bunny bet, say, open ya or snippyena, and got a rain and can. Your kind and carry for a bunny town. Mamma Jimmy for be essay in soon. Mamma Jimmy for be essay, 
the forest reserves, Mama Chin for BSA and Sassy, the cocoa farms, the vegetation. They are destroying all the beautiful rivers and forest reserves we've got. We've allowed this foolishness to go on. Take responsibility. See yourselves as a problem. Before you can fix a problem, you need to accept that there's a problem. And you need to accept the, how deep the problem is rooted before you can uproot the problem. You politicians, you are part of the problem. In fact, you are the head of the problems. So fix your attitude towards leadership before you can fix Ghana. Once you fix your attitude, the people will follow suit. God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation greater and stronger. But so for again, until I come here again, don't forget to say a prayer for Ghana with every idea. God bless. <laughs> Yeah.